What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. I'm back at you guys once again with another Blade and Soul video, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my daily questing routine, the kinds of questing that I do every single day. Well, on a daily basis that I can when I can play the game, of course. Uh, I just finished running my dailies uh, with my clan. And, uh, yeah, I just want to get right to it. I'm going to give you guys the rundown of the stuff, the, uh, the kinds of questing that I do every day. Uh, it's pretty generic, honestly. Uh, most of you probably are familiar with this method. Or not really, it's not really a method, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys follow this routine as well. Uh, but just for those of you newer players out there uh, asking me, you know, how do you make some gold? What's the easiest way to make some gold? I'm going to tell you right now that it's uh, one of the easiest ways to make gold uh, is to run your dailies on the purple dungeons. And that's pretty much what I do. Uh, with my guild uh, besides the daily quest right the dailies the DCs uh, we run every single purple dungeon as you can see from top to bottom we go down the list uh, of course staying in that 50 content we don't go and do you know the poharn and the bloodshade I'm just talking about the purples in general uh, for the silver frost content and uh, yeah man so just starting off right at the back we start off with uh, Naru Sanctum and then we work our way down to Foundry, Tomb, Ebon, Sogun, Shattered, uh, Sundred, uh, sometimes we skip Gloom, that's another thing I wanted to say that uh, the two dungeons that we probably skip the most are probably Gloom and Awaken Necro just because they take the longest, right? They take so fucking long to do, and it's very boring, to be honest with you. So we skip those a lot, um, but if, of course, if we if we all, if we all agree that we got some time left uh, to run some dungeons, then uh, you know we'll get some extra gold and run Gloom and Awaken. But usually we we skip it, you know, because um, we're we're uh, a lot of us are pressed for time, including myself. I don't have. 8 to 16 hours a day to sit on my ass and play this game. I really only have, believe it or not, 2 to 3 hours uh, at the most to play this game whenever I can get on. Um, because obviously I have a life outside of this game too, right? I, I hope a lot of you can agree with me on that. Um, so yeah, I'm pressed for time. So just trying to run through the dungeons, get as much uh, as much gold uh, as possible. And uh, yeah, so of course, we, like I said, we run, our, run down the list. Let's see. We skip this. We do cold storage, of course. Uh, we do our uh, avalanche den. Uh, this one we skip and then uh, we do heaven's mandate and then of course we usually finish off with lair of the frozen fang and that's pretty much about it the only time we're really going to be doing one of these blue dungeons is if, is if it's uh, part of the daily the dc right the daily but for the most part we skip these as well we pretty much just do lair all the way up to uh naryu sanctum uh, on a daily basis uh, to get that gold uh the ones that we skip of course is gloom uh, Gloom and uh, Necro and that's pretty much the only two that we skip uh, but for the most part we do pretty much do all the other uh, purple uh, dun uh, purple dungeon dailies or whatever daily quest you're gonna see some footage of that I got some footage I recorded our runs and you're gonna see the final boss kills uh, just to show you that I'm not bullshitting you and it's just some proof and uh, you know just uh, showing off uh, I guess uh, the good times and the memories that we make when we run these dungeons it's always a fun time when of course when you when you have a group that you can run with and you can chit chat and you know talk shit and uh, <laughs> you know make some uh, just joke around with talk stories whatever and uh, yeah it's always fun it's it, just remember that it's always it's always more fun to run dungeons with uh, when you have a group right uh, running it solo is uh, it's kind of boring for me uh, to be honest with you but uh, yeah that's pretty much what I do on a daily basis uh, some other things um, I also I also do run Mushin Tower usually after we run after we do the dailies from the purple dungeons I usually go and run Mushin Tower 16 to 20 and that's gonna give me an, another additional five gold as well um, usually I believe usually uh, you could usually I make off of the dungeons as well as Mushin Tower somewhere between like 60 to 70 gold Something like that. It's a like, uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's like 60-ish to 70 gold uh, that I make just off of doing dungeons, and uh, yeah, just off of doing dungeons and doing one quick run of Mushin uh, every uh, on the on the daily basis, of course, because uh, uh, you know Mushin actually gives pretty decent gold to be honest with you. Not so much on the EXP if those of you who are trying to get your you know do questing for EXP to level up your Hung Moon level, uh, but it does give good gold, right? So uh, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much about it, man. That's that's pretty much yeah. That's fucking it. I have nothing else to say, really. Um, just run your dailies, you know. Those of you, because I I get this in the comments a lot, you know. Those of you who ask me, uh, what what do you what do you what am I supposed to do? How do I'm a new player. How am I gonna get some gold? And I say, well, yeah. I'll tell you one thing right now, man. The first thing you should do is try to um, save up your gold and uh, run your dailies, right? Run your dailies, do the purple dungeons. If you can't do a Naryu Sanctum because you're not geared up, of course you gotta start off small, man. 
Do your, you know, baby steps. Start off with start off with lair, work your way up to heavens. Then you do your necro and your avalanche ten. Just go all the way up the list until you uh, pretty much are at a dead stop, uh, and, and your gear will won't let you go any further, right? Uh, but if you do have some gear, or if you do have a group, you find a group. You know, you got some friends, you got a guild that can take you through some of the harder dungeons. They can probably help you uh, with learning mechanics as well as uh, helping you gear up. You know, that's why I strongly suggest we are in a fucking MMO. Get some friends, man. Make some friends. This is a big community. Get a guild, for God's sakes, you know? So, uh, yeah, man. I, I strongly suggest you get a guild so they can run you through uh, some of these, uh, these harder to run dungeons. Help gear you up, learn mechanics. And they can teach you the ropes uh, through the game. Um, yeah, teach you the ropes of the game, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I guess one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. Because uh, I know you probably, some of you are putting in the comment section. Well, what if, you know, what what if, uh, you know, I, 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 did, I ran on my dailies. I did all the purples that I could do. Uh, I still have some time left, but I don't have enough time to run things like the 24 mans for extra gold. What are some things I could do on the side to get some gold? You know, besides running the dailies, doing my questing and whatnot, what are some other things that I could do on the side? I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay, so some of the things that you can do on the side is, of course, you can do, you could sell stuff on the market. You could sell stuff, sell stuff on the market, or you could sell stuff in faction chat, whatever you want to do. Because if you get items such as, like, a Xanos disc, or, like, um, sa uh, sa Sealed Sacred Oils, you're going to lose a lot of fees from the marketplace, right? You, you, there's a lot of registration fees, and, of course, additional fees that the marketplace uh, takes, uh, takes, from, uh, takes from your cut of uh, your profit, right? Uh, but I'm just trying to tell you a little bit of a suggestion, you know, if you don't want to do faction chat uh, and you want to make a little bit of gold on the side besides running your dungeons I, I highly suggest you do both of these methods right if you're pressed for time you don't have time to run anything but the purple dungeons uh, like me you know I only have really two to three hours to play some of the things that I do on the side is I sell stuff I sell stuff on the market and uh, I pretty much you know uh, make some extra gold off of it, you know, and so you're probably wondering well, what do you sell? Well, as you can see a lot of the stuff as you can see over here are filtered that I have registered uh, Favorited is uh, majority of the things that I actually sell. I sell premiums. I sell charms. I sell dyes I sell orbs. I sell stones some sometimes moonstones because look at the prices. They're so high I can, You can make a pretty decent profit. Uh, I sell uh, some of these guys over here um, If I get sealed Raven King souls from the raid I could do I sell these as well uh, pretty much anything that I can get my hands on that I don't necessarily need. Uh, of course, if it, when it comes to materials, things like Elysian Orbs or Moonstones or uh, Slingers and Soul Stones, uh, I, will go, I will of course leave some for myself because I'm going to need them in the future, but at the, at, at the moment, if I absolutely need the gold or I want to make the gold and I could spare a couple Soul Stones or a couple Moonstones to put on the market, hell, I'll throw it up there. I don't give a damn. I'll throw it up there to get some extra gold because why not, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, man, that's just some of the things that I sell uh, pretty much almost anything I can get my hands on that I don't necessarily need I'm not in the, I'm not in a position where I want to I want to start, you know gearing up alts or I'm in a position where I have to upgrade my gear in order to kill the Raven King You know I, at this moment right now in time. I'm pretty much just preparing for the future stuff, right? I'm preparing uh, save it on my gold save it on my mats and I'm pretty much preparing myself for the next race. So, so at, at the moment right now, I do craft these charms, I do craft these dyes, I do craft these, these cookies, and I do make these, these premiums, uh, but I don't necessarily need them right now. You know, I, I don't need them. My alt may need them, but I certainly don't need them. So what do I do, man? I throw up a charm up there, you know, 175 gold. I make, uh, I get back 160, 160-ish gold back. And uh, yeah, man, that's another... Uh, well, actually, I take that back because you have to craft it. When you craft these things, they, they can be a little bit costly. So at the end of the day, I make about, you know, considering the, the, the cost to make a charm, maybe about 30 or 40 extra gold, right? Yeah, 30 or 40 extra gold with the prices right now. Uh, profit, you know, after buying 100 soul stones or buying whatever materials that I need to craft this thing, uh, throwing it up there for 175, I make about, yeah, like I said, 30 or 40 gold extra profit. So on top of the 30, 40, uh, on top of the 60 gold that I make from the dungeons, well, I just made 100 gold right there, okay? <laughs> so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Um, you know, Doing your dungeons or doing your dailies and doing some crafting and selling your shit on the market or faction chat, whatever you want to do, uh, you can definitely maximize the potential of gold that you could possibly make 
within a within a matter of two to three hours, you know. And of course, other people have their methods. Okay, I'm not saying this is the only method that you have to follow. Listen to what I'm saying carefully. This is not the only method that you have to follow. Again, this is not the only method that you have to follow. There are other ways that you can make gold. There are many ways that you can make gold or, you know, uh, prioritize what dailies to do on a daily basis. But let's, let's be honest, at the end of the day, why do we do these dailies? We do these dailies to make some gold right to get you know to get richer to be able to buy things that we want to be able to upgrade things that we want so trying to find many methods or certain methods that work for you especially when you're someone like me who can only play two to three hours at a time uh, is definitely something that you need to consider right when playing this game okay just a little bit of knowledge out there, but that's pretty much just another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Because uh, those of you asked me, you know, like, like, man, you got so much fucking gold. You had 2k gold on the trove. You had, now you have like a thousand gold. You spent 700 gold on your weapon, but you got it back. How the fuck did you do that? I'm over here busting my ass making 20 to 50 gold a day. What do I do? What am I doing wrong? Well, I'm telling you this right now. You are not, you're not, you're not maximizing the amount of shit that you could possibly be doing. You know, I would highly suggest... Right now, before the market crashes, because it always crashes, it's gonna crash no matter what, right? Because that's just how this shit works. Um, you know, the, the, I remember this used to be like 130, 140 gold. Right now, they're at a pretty decent price where you can still sell it and make some profit, right? With, in terms of these charms, um, as well as the premiums, okay? Now, premiums, you have to battle it out with RNG. But for me, it seems like my RNG has been pretty good lately, and I've been able to get one out of every two attempts. If you can't make a premium, uh, within the first two attempts, then you're already losing out on gold. Just giving you a heads up on that. If you want to start selling these uh, these premiums, uh, right? I have enough premiums to take my weapon to Riftwalk 6 and potentially Riftwalk 10. So I'm good. Any premiums that I make after that, uh, I, I pretty much just sell because I don't need them. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see. You know, you could sell these things right here. These premiums, uh, these regular transformation stones, right? Get your crafting done, right? Now let me tell you this: that crafting is so easy in this fucking game. I would, it, it's a, it's a lot easier than most other MMOs and uh, that I've ever played. This is probably the one of the most easiest crafting uh, that I've ever experienced in an MMO compared to other ones like World of Warcraft or something like that. Um, so if, it, if the crafting is going to be this easy, I would highly suggest that you maximize it and, and use it to your advantage. You know, sell shit. Start selling stuff on the side uh, while doing your purple dungeons. So that it, instead of getting 50 to 60 gold from doing the dungeons, you could have possibly made hundreds of gold, right? 100 gold, 120 gold, 150 gold, depending on whatever the fuck you sell, right? Um, yeah, just throwing that out there as a little bit of a heads up, a little bit of a, some knowledge, of, of course. But uh, either way, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say. That that's how that's pretty much what I do. That's my daily questing method. I run all the purple dungeons. I do my motion, of course, if I have time, uh, and that's about it, man. If there's any, if if anything else. If on the days that I don't run the the purple dungeons, it's usually that means that I have to go farm for something. Like I'll skip out on doing purple dungeons to go farm uh, something from Celestial Basin or something from Cold Storage or um, no, not Cold Storage. It's a bad example. Uh, or like Mushin. When I had to farm for my Mushin badge, I skipped out on doing dailies for two days straight just so I can farm for my Mushin badge. Uh, so so there are some days where I don't even do the purple dungeons uh, because, like I said, I'm pressed for time. But I need to farm this because I need this for the future. You know what I'm saying? So there are some days that I don't even make gold at all because I need to prioritize my gear, uh, uh, my future gear. Uh, and there are, and there are, and, but on the regular days, the daily, usually the daily routine is we do our purples to get some gold. And of course, we, all of us, we sell stuff on the side. We sell stuff on the side to make extra gold. Uh, and that's what, that's how most of us makes our, most of us make our profits. Uh, so hopefully you learn something from that. What, like, what I mean by crafting as well is I want you to go ahead and start to set up a, a couple of characters. Get them to at least, I don't know, level 15, level 20. Uh, and, and get your, um, you know, start getting your crafting set up. Uh, have a character that can make royal dyes. Have a character that can make charms. Have a character that can make... Uh, transformation stones and uh yeah man just start uh, prioritizing what what character crafts what and uh you know throw it up on the market send the money to your main and there you go you could have doubled your profits within the two to three hours play time so uh yeah um like i said this isn't the only way to make gold there are many other ways to make gold but this is just the method that i've been using for months at a time uh actually for the longest time this is probably one of the only methods that i've been using is uh, uh to make my gold 
and to uh, to finish up my dailies as well. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much about it. So hopefully you learned something today. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave it in the comment section below. Other than that, you're gonna see some uh, footage. Uh, you can choose to stay right now, or you can or you can leave. Uh, we'll do whatever you want to do. I didn't want to make this into a long video, but the rest of the video is just gonna be uh, me running my dailies with my um, with my guildmates. Uh, and uh, just to show you that uh, these are the kinds of questing, the questing route that I take uh, on a daily basis. So you're just gonna see, you know, uh, excuse me, uh, final boss kills on on each of the dungeons dungeons that we do, uh, just to, just to show you that uh, you know it's not it's not bullshit. I'm not bullshitting you <laughs> when I say that I run all the dungeons every single day. Uh, but yeah, guys. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you're all having a very easy day. I love you all as always. Any questions? Like I said, throw them in the comment section below. Hopefully you're all having a very easy day. Like I said, stay tuned for more to come your way. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace! My ping okay. right now is lower than what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at like 120 ish. I'm at 90. Oh, wow. Wow, cool. <coughs> you gotta jump. Well, I guess, yeah, my ping, my ping is just going up and down now. It's sweet. Yeah, yeah uh, when, I use my, when I use the ping, it's all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, that's one good thing. Grab's gonna be on cooldown. Alright. Oh. Why? I don't like packet loss, so no packet loss. See, I use mine first. Hmm, I guess it does override it. <laughs> Easy, when were you going away? It's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna, this, I think a lot of people are gonna be done that day. July weekend, yeah. Mm, should be okay. Um, we'll have problem on the last boss for sure though. Cool. Not problem, but, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to do mechanics on last boss after the uh, double stun. And people you know, who are you know not. What the issue with that is. Oh, oh wow, another one. Wow. Pop. Oh, Pop needs it. Mm. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait. Gotta think. Gotta look at that thing. Get with EO. What's up?
New computer. Oh shoot, I didn't spec on my tab. Uh oh. Still gonna be okay? Uh, I think I'll be okay. Okay. Are you serious? Okay, so burn in three, two, okay, after this. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. Did you say he was scorching hot already, or? Yep. Oh. That we started. Hmm. <laughs> Three shot pick. Oh, okay. Okay. Watch out, sweetie. Those walls will get you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the invisible walls and ceilings. <laughs> no, he straight up ran into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, see me. Shit. So did you buy it with coin? Oh. I tried to use my home coin, but I hit mistake. <laughs> it's my coin. <laughs> oh, you mean my me. coin? What the? I oh, was gonna shit. use it. <laughs> use what? Your money. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's okay. You save your credit card, right? I'll charge more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Easy. Okay, I'll take his left hand. See, right there, you did not have to, like, spin behind me. You could have just stood there. Oh, I just used it for mobility. But you didn't have to. Just to be sure. Alright, enough. Oh my there gosh, go. he ass dropped in the center. Yay. They grow up fast, reset. 
Meow. Did you just make a cat sound? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is close, right? Ah, oh, shit. Yep. I'm so spec with my tab. I go for this one or no? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Go, go. Ow! Why? Oh. Okay. Why? <laughs> God damn what? it. Come on, man. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh. There we go. See, it was worth it. I had to take the mark. <laughs> right. Hey. I'm kidding. Don't buy it. You got enough shards. The, how much does it yep. cost to send to an old? Uh, Two covers. Silver. Yeah, it's yeah. covers. I'll send it to my then. What, the necklace? Yeah, I'll buy it and send it to my ult, and just get the money back when I get the thing, thanks. Cool, alright. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Snakes. Chest is mine. Ah. It doesn't look like they're gonna put anything in the store to get more pearls yet. They're putting I more get. pearls? Well, that's they what they usually do. do. Oh. Cause I would like to get, uh... A few oils, actually. I still need a, a two, so. Oh, because right now they just have that one you can buy. Whoops. Oh, so oh, I got marked. Mark. Yeah, it wasn't paying attention. Soul burn activating. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Oh shit. Cool down. Iron plating, come on. And I got rooted. Sweetie protected <laughs> you all. Sweetie's the guardian. There you go. <laughs> uh, sealed stone. Oh, well, I guess that's good. That's good. No shadow. I mean, excavatory. I swear, if there's a lightning stuff in here, okay, there better not be no lightning stuff in here. <laughs> Go ahead, never jumps. <laughs> what you talking about? He's <laughs> killed me the most. Uh huh, and Reset's probably killed me the most. Sweetie has killed me in duos too. Like, there is, I think, multiple times in Lair. Yeah, big like, guy. Me, me and him just duo, and he just freaking kills, starts the Chunka thing and just kills me. No, it's I late. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> yeah, I beat snakes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. I I know I don't.
Really dumb. <laughs> but you probably did because it was a big old freaking aerial block. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get you. Dang it. Nothing I get yeah, see, me. I told you Speedy Pass because there's one. I was going to buy that one yesterday. Then I this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Nah. Now that guy's probably like, oh my god, look at all these kills. <laughs> hey, back away, they're my girls. Back away, back away. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaks is owned by no one. Sneaks is owned by me. By no one. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yes. <laughs> nope. Hey, were you guys gonna get married? In no. We yeah, weren't. we were. Nope. <laughs> no, we were not. He he freaking declined at the last second. I proposed I, in everything. I never and accepted. Got on one knee. Yeah, I got on one I'm, knee and everything. I'm still salty at Adam, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Cause he freaking picked up my character. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, we were all trying to pick you up because you wouldn't let any of us pick you up. Dude, no one picks up my character. I'm sorry. <laughs> he had to catch you off guard when you were all tabbed, right? I was AFK. I was away from my computer. He freaking, I come back and I'm being flown in the air and stuff. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Put me down. Let's <laughs> come back, Adam. I don't know why you decline, dude. Like, when you get married, they they do like this really romantic no. cinematic. No. Man, I don't know why. Okay. You missed that. We could have got marriage benefits. You, you can, I do with someone else. Could have got marriage benefits, double EXP, and everything. That's okay. I'm into polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> have easy to yourself you don't need to go there Ow. <laughs> and speedy can have reset but then who's pop gonna have up easy. Someone. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice. Look at that. I need my mats back. Perform right. uh, motion. Like a ridiculous amount of money wasted. Yeah. Yeah, but you rich. Doesn't matter. Mm. But he's not rich in maths. Right? He's rich in I, mean, everything. I mean, still richer than sneaks, but still. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for comparing me out <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> well, you're the one who said it doesn't matter. My yeah, goal doesn't because matter. Because you're rich. And it's true. But, but yeah, if it if it stays this way, I'm not gonna ever stay rich for long. And mm. all I do is block, block, block. block. <laughs> They're all concentrating on me. This so, is like they're popping all the cooldowns and just eat to the best stem. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, I just eat Q and E whenever possible and block, block, block. <laughs> I just dance around the cauldron, that's all I can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to do it really good too. Me and Reset could hold two points by ourselves, but our team were always noobs. Yep. Welcome back. <laughs> what are we gonna say? His son is tired. Hmm. I thought I just heard a wild Snorlax. 
Snorlax. Slow, bro. Slow, bro. Crazy. Geo, Geo, dude. <laughs> What's up with the? Room? I didn't mean to bring up this brand. I, I only movie. know one. Pick up, pick up. Yeah, Pikachu, of course. <laughs> squirt, of course, squirt. <laughs> They just say their names. <laughs> yeah. Coffee. <laughs> Meow, that's, that's like right. <laughs> Meow, that's right. <laughs> Blasting off again. <laughs> <laughs> Blast off every episode. I know. <laughs> Ding! Or whatever. It's funny that their introduction is actually makes them sound like heroes. Oh, it does. Way, yeah. they, it, uh, they think in their minds that they actually are heroes, I think. Are you serious? That they're, that they're doing good. They, they never realized that they were doing evil. Oh, wow. What's what's the we're doing good? They were just trying to get Pikachu a good. Home. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get Pikachu That's to the thought. boss <laughs> or some shit. The boys, the boys. Was that mine? Oh, yep. oh okay. Never. Use your hacks and give me one. Team Rocket. What the fuck? Oh, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Bitch. That's right. <laughs> hmm. I didn't notice that one. Yeah, I had to. I had to... But I did rob the, uh. The. Whatever. The. Like those guards transferring money from banks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it in the beginning it's like shoot it or something to open the door, and it's like doesn't matter how many times you freaking shoot, punch or whatever, you can't open it. Yeah. I used the uh, I used the rocket launcher every time, or grenade launcher, and just pop that thing open. Oh grab yeah. Pass and run away. I think now it's like yeah. It, it, I can never get it to open. I had to use grenade launcher every time. Right, some kind of explosive would always get it open. Yeah. Oh, so stone crystal. I think I saw out an elephant driving a car. A what? An elephant driving a car. An elephant. What? The hell? what? How did you see that? That's, 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 not, not, the that's not the. Uh, okay, GTA, no? How did you see it? It's elephant? probably a mod. It's probably a mod because they have a mod yeah. where you could mm. practically play anything or any model. Oh, the game. you can make game. your game and you make the rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that'll take years and years of uh, production and uh, development and everything else. We could team up, Sneaks. Team Nice Dynamite the game. Oh my <laughs> god, would you stop with that? <laughs> First with the band thing, now with the game we thing. We could be game, yeah, programmers. <laughs> game devs, yeah. Who's just sitting at the beginning? Yep, fixing the, uh, XL. Bleach. Hey, you can do it. You can do it. That's not the point. Dude, that's what Lee just say. Gonna forget about it later. That's what Lee just say. Do put your back into it. <laughs> that is sweetie. Yeah. Man, this doesn't look like a bingo.
thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!